So the testimony, and he wasn't under oath, but he still wasn't allowed to lie to them, um, was terrible for the Republicans. Jim Comer didn't even show up to think, well, let's use real words. Then instead of laughing or saying, come on. He was asked, if someone concluded from the 1023 form that you all think is so important that Joe Biden was bribed, would you disagree with that? Yeah, I would. Devin Archer said that. What does he know about that? Yeah. How well, does then, he know? then he doesn't matter. Then Devin Archer is either the no. crux of the puzzle that shows that this is a mob family or he doesn't matter. No, it he matters said when that he's Victor... in the middle of it. If he's in the middle of a dinner, then it matters. If it's something that he's not there, then it doesn't matter. OK. Victor Shokin was not good for Burisma, as I've been telling you, as has been widely reported, as the entire Why? Western world. Why? Because he wasn't investigating yes, the corruption. Yes, he was. No, that, he wasn't. He was seizing their cars. Well, well, guys, wait a minute, then what was he doing? What was Shokin I'm doing? I'm so glad that you're back. Okay, hold on one <laughs> second. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> did Hunter ever ask Joe to take any official actions? Huh? Devin Archer, he did not. Pretty How clearly. Would he let him know? They talk, they talk they on the phone the every point. day. We just watched the reason Fox News should have zero viewers. But because we live in a country where Republicans want to be coddled, they want to live in this vacuum where truth does not matter. We watched Jessica get talked over by everybody at the table and screamed at and screamed over with ridiculous statements. Oh, also the calls, which there are 20 calls um, over the course of a decade, he said were not just the weather. He said they did talk about family. That was and a fishing. wink and a nod. Did you see the interview? He goes, There's a yeah, new yeah. We talked about the weather. You guys will say anything. No, I have no idea. And I don't think anyone in America has any idea. And I think, think we need to know. Can Devin Archer lay out the details there, sir? He has the ability to, and, and I sure hope that, that he takes advantage of the opportunity and does that. What is the direct link between President Joe Biden and Hunter Biden? Well, according to people that we have talked to, Joe Biden regularly called in. We just finished the two hours of Republican questioning. Um, and I think it is safe to say that after yet another two hours, there still is no connection of any of Hunter Biden's business dealings with President Biden. They keep saying, oh, he wouldn't know, talking about Archer. He wouldn't know, talking about he knew all of the calls being coy. But this was their key witness. And if your key witness don't know, then why is he your key witness? Also, if your key witness don't know what he's supposed to know, the reason you all been saying Biden was lying, if he don't know, do you even have a case? There's a new oversight menu, uh, menu memo that's out today which, again, does not explain what services were provided exactly. by the Biden. Exactly. They didn't have any services. Why is he getting the, the money? Then what did they do? Exactly. We're no. asking the same oh, question. No, 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 they never. They, no. they, they fired the, the, the prosecutor. And they did we got the Chinese kid in the school. And, of course you don't have a case. There's not been a case. This is all about deflection from what's happening with Donald Trump. This entire Hunter Biden, Joe Biden's case is ridiculous. And the reason we know it's ridiculous is because we didn't let you learn about this under the Biden's administration. This investigation was happening under Donald Trump's administration. That's right. Not liberals. Donald Trump's administration chose not to charge Donald Trump's Department of Justice, not Joe Biden's. And you all are pretending that somehow this is some kind of liberal cover up where Joe Biden had a prosecutor fired. When we know we've already heard that the prosecutor was fired because he was corrupt, corrupt not because it was investigating Burisma. We know that it wasn't just Joe Biden. It was America and her allies that said Shokin was corrupt and needed to go. That's why he was out. not because of a Burisma investigation. And those are facts. But it won't matter to people over at Fox because they don't care about facts. You should just see the many headlines talking about how Devin Archer blew up in Republicans' face, how he was a dud, how he proved nothing, how he proved nothing. Furthering the fact that when Republicans are talking, they're most likely projecting. If they're talking about an attack on education from the left, they're really projecting because we see it in Ron DeSantis in Florida with the book banning and the rewriting of Black American history. When they're talking about people not caring about the working class and poor people, they're projecting because we saw Donald Trump do one thing and that was to give a tax break to the wealthiest Americans and nothing for anybody else. That's right. We saw that. We saw Donald Trump bail out a trucking company to the tunes of billions while that same company now is laying off hundreds of of drivers. When Republicans are talking about patriotism, we know they don't have it. We watch them beat.
cops on January the 6th. We watched them attack the seat of our democracy on January the 6th. So when Republicans are opening their mouths, they're probably projecting. That is exactly what's happening in this case. Jessica sits at this table with a mouthful of facts while everybody screams and rants like kids because they have nothing to say. But it doesn't matter. Their network, Fox so-called news network is steady rising because Republicans just want to hear the BS on from their side. I'm Mundell Robinson. Fall in love with the truth for the sake of our democracy. Have a good evening, but not before you think about it.